Hey, welcome back to my Facebook subscribers. Welcome to anybody that may be new to my channel, whether, whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube. I am Brandon Corey Nagley, or just as everybody calls me, Brandon Nagley. But due to the fact that I'm on my third YouTube channel, for anybody watching on YouTube, you know, I've been censored so much that I'm now on my third YouTube channel for showing different uh, biblical prophetic signs and talking about certain things that YouTube doesn't want me or others talking about. Well, when you put, when you have somebody talking about the biblical planet X or biblical wormwood system, as I usually show the signs in heaven spoken in Revelation chapter 8, planet X is our earth's twin sun called biblical wormwood of Revelation chapter 8, the fiery red dragon of Revelation chapter 12, also known as the destroyer in the Old and New Testament, the same destroyer or what we call today, earth's twin sun, the brown dwarf star. Nemesis, the destroyer, in today's, um, it's what they call it now. Thank you, by the way, for everybody that gave me prayers last night on Facebook. I was feeling horrible, guys. You know, before I've, I've had three transient, three transient attacks. They're like, when you get overly stressed, you know, it gives you like stroke symptoms in a way. You start getting foggy brain, which, by the way, all this radiation coming in from Planet X system bodies, there's Okay, there's one big massive body. I'm not truly sure if that's from the Planet X system. And then a smaller body, I feel, is from the Planet X system, closer to Earth. And then a massive body, as I said, far behind the planet. And they're sending shock waves of, of energy and radiation towards Earth. Okay, and then the two pulses, the one gamma ray burst, a star that exploded thousands of years ago that Insider Mike from around the world warned about would come, started hitting a few years back after Insider Mike, who is a FEMA insider working for the government, who also watches and studies and looks at the Planet X system and its debris inbound right now, that warned Pastor Paul Begley years ago, Pastor Paul Begley YouTube channel, about a pulses, tons of them coming in. At the time, he could, he could only see five that were coming from behind Earth from a gamma ray burst, a star that exploded a long time ago. And those pulses started hitting the backside of Earth along with two planetary bodies sitting behind Earth sending pulses or, or radiation waves, pure radiation and energy slamming the Earth. Now a new one just exploded that I've been talking about the past few, what, past few, about two months that Insider Mike from around the world warned about a few months back. He said another star exploded. Now I'm not sure if it's a, a, a gamma ray burst, but I, I do feel it is. So now we don't only just have solar radiation coming in daily, pounding the planet, um, because the Planet X system body is constantly passing and perturbing, as you're about to see, the sun on a daily and a weekly basis, not including the two massive bodies I've been showing for the past few years that are not part of the Planet X system, but are two extra celestial bodies that are massive, guys. I'm talking almost sun size. Uh, many say, oh, that, that can't exist. Oh, yes, it does. I've been showing it the last few years. People called me crazy. You're not showing these two massive bodies that came in. The insider Mike from around the world warned about a few months back saying, yes, two bodies came in and that all world governments are completely worried about them. Okay, along with these pulses I'm talking about sending cosmic radiation, cosmic waves of radiation and galactic waves of radiation coming from the back side of the sun. That, this is where this new star exploded and it's sending waves to the back, from the back side of the sun coming from the sun's direction. But when you look at it on the magnetopause or the, um, look at our grass that NASA has looking at the Earth's magnetosphere that's getting, you could see it get hit. Okay. Coming from the sun's direction, but you're not always sure if it's from the sun or if it's from, you know, the star that exploded behind the sun, sending shock waves our way. And then not including, you can see on the magnet pause, which I'm going to show you here in a few minutes, energy hitting from the backside of the earth, pushing our bow shock to the left, pushing it, you know, outwards that protects us. The bow shock protects us a lot from all the heavy duty solar radiation coming in and other part particulates that would have us dead guys within days or less, you know, if we didn't have that bow shock there. So, so anybody new to my channel, I show the signs in the heavens. Thank you again uh, for those on YouTube that prayed for me. Like I said, I've had three transient attacks in the past. It's, they're not many strokes, but they're close to it, where you get a foggy brain, you can't think right, and your heart starts palpitating really bad. Well, this energy coming in, guys, it takes away... Sorry, my neck's 
my neck's killing me. No, I don't re wear uh, real glasses. Like I said, I'm a nerd guy, so don't mind me being nerdy, huh? Take off these goofy glasses. But, I, you know, I just wear them sometimes to block the light out of my eyes and so I can see the camera better talking to you guys. But I show the signs in the heavens, guys, that Yeshua, Jesus Christ, also known as Jesus Christos in Greek, warned to be seen before a second coming. And as I always say in all my videos, stop arguing over his names, Christians. He has many names. He goes by Yeshua in Hebrew. That's his real name. Which, by the way, it's not by accident. His name, Yeshua, means salvation. Just as um, in the last few years has come out. Funny, it's only come out from the last few years. But yes, one of his names is Yehoshua. Or in Greek, Jesus Christos, okay? Um, or simply in English translation, Jesus. So first off, guys, I wonder, uh, for any newcomers on YouTube or Facebook, if you're on Facebook, read the main notes atop of the video, okay? If you're on YouTube, always read my pinned notes in my comment section that are pinned above all, all other comments to understand what I'm showing you guys. Again, I'm Brandon Agley. I show the signs in the heavens that Yeshua, Jesus Christ, Yeshua warned about to be seen before a second coming, specifically the Planet X system, also known as what NASA covers it up by is Planet Nine, as they admitted to Planet X back in 1983, out in articles, and then they tried covering it up. But those articles are still out there, you know, saying that they found a massive body with the, the mass 10 times of Jupiter, I believe it said. And this is the same system, you know, Planet X is coming up from the south ecliptic. It's why your guys' skies are blood red in the morning and at night, even in midday in certain places because of its, you know, its uh, path, its trek. It's coming up from the south ecliptic plane. It's dropping red iron oxide dust on us. That's why the skies are blood red and, and, and the rivers and the seas and the oceans, everything's turning blood red. Just as it occurred during the ten bi biblical plagues when Gob used the planet X, our brown dwarf star, the twin sun, to bring the plagues, not only to Egypt, but to the whole world at that time, guys. It recorded down planet X and all gave it a different name for it. Okay, so this video is very serious. Newcomers, you must know Jesus Christ came. He's God's only begotten son, but he's also God in the flesh. The Bible says in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world, He gave us His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him, believes in Jesus Christ, Yeshua, should not perish, but have everlasting life. In John 14, 6, Jesus said, Clearly, He said, I am the way, and I am the truth, and I am the life, and no man or no one comes to the Father God but by me. It's not through Buddha, who people worship his finger in a glass jar. It's not through Mohammed, who spoke Satan's own words out of his mouth. He was a false prophet. Jesus warned of many false prophets that would come before his second coming. And Jesus said, I believe in Matthew chapter 24 and other chapters, he says if people say, you know, the Messiah is over here in the caves, or if he's underground, or if he's, you know, out in the field, so on, out in the desert, do not follow after them. Because the Bible says there be many antichrists, not the actual antichrist that's going to proclaim himself to be God during the seven years of tribulation. Um, but there's going to be many antichrists, guys, many false Christs, many false messiahs. We have those here right now, just as Jesus Yeshua warned, false, even false people that call themselves Christ themselves, many false Jesuses all around the planet right now. In Indonesia, there's a guy that pretends to be. In Europe, there's a, there's a guy that thinks he's Jesus, and people literally worship him. Okay, it's not through any of the 300 million plus false gods and goddesses that are really fallen, three-dimensional, demonic beings that people worship as gods, you know, and, and goddesses made of statues and, you know, and wood and clay. Those are nothing but fallen beings that mankind made to be as gods. And Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He took the nails in his wrists, guys, and in his feet. He had a crown of thorns placed on his head, pounded into his head with the blood dripping down. Anybody can look up the real Shroud of Turim. Okay, look it up. See the actual blood marks. And they know from that blood, by the way, that the test that they did on the Shroud of Turim they found out that blood is living. And the scientists in Israel that tested it said this is not possible. And they told the man this that was a part of the team of the shroud. And they said this is unbelievable. They said the blood on the shroud is living. 
Jesus t told the woman at the well that was seeking water. He says, if you seek the water from me, you will never thirst again. Jesus said he is the water of life. In heaven, guys, there is a literal river of life that runs to God's throne. Jesus is also the river of life himself. He's also God in the flesh. He's not only just God's only begotten son that came to the planet being both fully man and fully God in the flesh, both without sin. He was born of the Virgin Mary and yet without sin. No, he did, he did not sleep with any woman. He was not into sin. He did not sin. Though sadly, mankind in man's theologies pushes that theology. They push that story. Mocking our Lord, mocking our Holy Savior. Because Satan and very real demons around the planet work through men and women to twist things. Just like our governments today. They hide the truth and they twist things, guys. So today I want to open up with this, okay? Now we say, excuse me, guys, my neck is just, it's killing me today. I really need to get to a chiropractor because, you know, I'm, I'm always cracking my parents' backs. I always adjust them. I know how to do it professionally. Um, but in all truth, I need a amazing neck and full body rub and I need adjusted, but it's just a dream and hope, right guys? It's just a dream and hope. I always tell you guys about love and forgiveness daily. Why? Because God is love and it's life. Everybody that dies in near death experiences, I've studied hundreds of them by tape, by video, by Reading, every one, every one of them will tell you when they meet God, they, they will tell you God is pure love and God is light. The Bible says God is light and in him is no darkness at all. I can tell you that. You see this picture behind me? Hold on. That's me on the stairways, guys. One of my old dreams, okay? Connected to this, this is the same dream when I walked into a tree. I knew it was from Christ. I figured out that the I figured out that the tree was part of the tree of life that the Bible talks about. I walked into the tree in my dream. I walked up these steps. And I saw behind me what you see right right there. I walked into a tree there were steps. And I saw what Revelation chapter 1 describes in the Bible just as people describe in near death experiences where they're clinically brain and heart dead. I saw Jesus looking at me. I couldn't see the eyes or nothing. I believe I saw a thick white beard. Hair about my length or a little longer, all white. And bright white light pouring from his face. Revelation chapter 1 says, When Christ ascended back up into heaven, see, he died for our sins. He was buried. He rose again the third day. But he was also on earth for 40 days after his resurrection. And then when he rose up with the two angels on his side, with 500 people below saying the same Jesus that you see go up, shall come back in likewise manner. When Christ went up, he was transformed, all white hair, white beard, white everything, shining from his face, and that's how he looks in heaven. And people in heaven can even describe you with his holes still seen in his wrist and in his feet, guys. And I saw him as Revelation chapter 1 states, that states his face or his countenance, his facial features is as the sun. That's how I saw Yeshua, Jesus Christ, light pouring from out of him. But as people see in death, whether they're saved out of hell, only by one person, by the way, Yeshua, Jesus, or meet him in between heaven and hell in the tunnel, death tunnel, or actually get taken to heaven's gates or in, get, in heaven, they see the light pouring from his face. Not including literal light pouring from God's throne and from God himself, our creator. I tell you to love and forgive all the time, guys. Our time is short. We've got millions of asteroid debris inbound right now from Planet X. By top insiders watching the pole shift, our mi north migration poles, okay? We should be hitting the 40 degree mark very shortly. I'm talking about two months or maybe a little more or a little less. But that's not when the pole shift hits. Planet X is going to go up between the moon, okay, oh sorry, between the earth and, and the sun. 
and it's going to do an arching pass over the sun, okay? And when it goes between the earth and the sun, does an arching pass over it and goes out, back out. It's going to latch on to the bottom south uh, uh, of the planet and flip the poles, guys. It's going to flip the poles. It's called the pole ship. There's going to be waves three to 500 feet tall. There's going to be massive death worldwide. There's going to be quakes so big, mankind's never even recorded it. Yes, there's going to be flooding like in Noah's day, but this time the Bible says God shall not destroy the planet by water but by fire this time yes there's going to be massive flooding tsunamis three to feet, 500 feet tall as people have seen in multiple dreams from christ as spoken in joel chapter 2 and acts chapter 2 i'm a, I'm a part of that prophecy God should pour out a spirit upon all flesh in the last days that your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, and your young, men's, young men shall see visions in the last days, and that God would pour out a spirit upon his handmaids and hand servants in the last days. So everybody around the planet's having these dreams and visions, as I've seen, you know, multiple Antichrist dreams, seven fireball dreams, multiple Planet X system dreams, Antichrist dreams, rapture dreams. Not alien invasion, demonic invasion dreams. And yes, they're going to use real beings that are three-dimensional and fallen. What many call Anunnaki, which by the way is not the right word for them. Because that puts them in the same category with God's good angels. Fallen angels are not in the same category as them, so that's the wrong name for them. There is actually an older name, many do not know that. And what's coming is three-dimensional and fallen and demonic. And yes, world governments are going to use them as an excuse when Jesus Christ raptures or catches away. Also called our blessed hope in the Bible. Okay, for you Christians out there that don't believe in the rapture, maybe you should start listening to all the rapture dreams and visions by the thousands that matches Joel chapter 2 and Acts chapter 2, end days dreams and visions given from God to man. Okay? It's not just some hysteria. It's not just something fake. Millions of rapture dreams worldwide and tons of those millions of dreams they will describe to you as the fireballs come down from Planet X, Christians get caught up at that time. And they will be protected out of it. Jesus said in Revelation 3.10, He says, because you have kept the word of my patience. Sorry guys, my throat is dry as heck. Jesus said, because you have kept the word of my patience, I will also keep you from, or the word from, our Bibles come from Aramaic, Hebrew, and Greek. The word from in Greek is E-K-E-K, meaning from out of, or out of. Jesus said, because you have kept the word of my patience, I will also keep you from, or ek in Greek, out of, or from out of, the hour of trial, testing, or temptation. It's the seven years of God's wrath, judgment upon the earth that shall come upon the whole world to try them, who's them, unbelievers that reject Christ at the time of the rapture and before the time of the rapture that dwell on the earth, okay? And for those that say there's no rapture, St. Jerome in the Latin Vulgate translated Paul's words in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, Paul's words caught up to repia more. Or raptio. Or harpazo in the Greek, or raptus, or raptura, all in Latin. It means the actual physical removal of the church, the body of Christ, true Christians from one place to another. In ecstasy. That's by full definition. So love and forgiveness, I tell you guys daily. Okay, Matthew 18, 21 to 22 then Peter came to him and said, Lord, talking in book of Matthew, talking about Peter going to, to Yeshua with Jesus. Then Peter came to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times, Jesus said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to 70 times seven. Number one, Christ always used God's number in the word of God in our Bible. Seven means completion, biblically and spiritually. Seven, seven, and seven is the number that represents God to Jews and Christians both, okay?
Jesus said, don't forgive seven times, but 70 times seven, meaning there's no, no set number. Always forgive no matter what somebody does to you. No matter if somebody spits on you, beats you up, steals from you. It doesn't matter, guys. If Christ can forgive us while dying on the cross for me and your sins, for people's murders, for people's the worst things, rapes, for people's lying, for people's cheating, for people's stealing. Trust me, he can forgive you and you can forgive another. Now I'm going to read to you out of Matthew chapter 6 really quick, okay? Matthew 6, verse 14. For if you forgive men their trespasses, this is Yeshua Jesus' words. If you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father, meaning the Creator God, forgive your trespasses, your sins. God's two greatest commands, guys. Are to love. To love and to forgive another. Is Yeshua Jesus Jesus your Lord? Hold on, I'm going to show you the guys this really quick, okay? Hold on. Don't you die? 